Hello and welcome to today's September 23rd Second Stimulus Check Update and Second Stimulus Package Update. Today we will cover Mnuchin's testimony on the need for more stimulus, the government shutdown and how that affects stimulus uh, relief package negotiations. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. Okay. Now, Steve Mnuchin, Secretary of uh, the Treasury, uh, in testifying to Congress, said these words, President Trump and I want a second check. So he said that clearly to this congressional committee. He also said that he believes another round of PPP money to actual small businesses is needed, and President Trump supports helping small businesses now, I am starting to see that this could be just businesses with 10 employees or less, but either way, he's saying that both he and President Trump see a need for helping more small businesses. Now, Steve Mnuchin and Jerome Powell both said in layman terms that the stimulus money that was released due to the CARES Act is what kept the economy from collapsing and creating more job loss or a slower recovery. So they have both come out and said before Congress that it was the stimulus package that helped the U.S. economy. However, Mnuchin also said that the travel industry and specifically the hotel industry may need its own targeted package. Now, Mnuchin said in an interview, as you know, we put $3 trillion into the economy when the economy was completely shut down and we've now reopened the economy. Let's do a more targeted bill now, and if we need to do more in 30 days, we'll continue to do more. But let's not hold up the American workers and the American businesses that need more support. So basically what he's saying is, remember last week when he testified, he said with the economy reopening, we don't need a $3 trillion package, we just need around 1.5 trillion. So what he's essentially saying is uh, let, let's get money out to the American people and American businesses right now. And if we need to do more, the numbers will indicate and we can do more. Uh, but we need to address the needs of the people right now. Chief of Staff Mark Meadows at the White House said that if they can't get a deal done, it might be time to start looking at piecemealing deals that are needed for the American people. So, for example, piecemeal a deal on PPP money for small businesses. Piecemeal a deal to help landlords and those that are behind on their rent payments. Piecemeal a deal to get direct stimulus checks out to the people. Uh, <clears throat> he's hoping that uh, it won't have to come to this. He doesn't want to have to piecemeal deal. Nancy Pelosi, Speaker of the House, said she refuses to do a piecemeal deal. Uh, but as of right now, nothing is getting done for the American people. And so this is why he has said, if we can't get a total package done, it might be time to piecemeal little deals and get them through. Okay, now if you wouldn't mind, will you give this video a like? That way YouTube will share it with others. I would really appreciate that. Okay, now uh, a government shutdown has been temporarily prevented due to passing a bill late last night. Uh, yesterday, I told you that one of the distractions that I was personally worried about uh, with, with getting a, a relief package uh, regarding stimulus done quickly was that the government uh, would be distracted by this, this shutdown of the government that was coming in about one week. Uh, well, last night, the House of Representatives passed a temporary bill uh, that was accepted by the majority. Uh, the House of Representatives passed that bill last night. The bill passed with 359 yeses, 57 noes, and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez simply said present. So she didn't really vote. Now, the bill prevents the government from shutting down through between now and December 11th. So it's just a small temporary bill to keep the government open. But inside of this bill was additional money uh, to help with food assistance. So the SNAP program, the pandemic EBT, making sure that kids have uh, food at school. 
Uh, also, there was money allocated to help American farmers who have been hurt because of the lockdown and the uh, ups and downs of the food demand. Now, the second area of distraction in Congress is this timing on filling the empty Supreme Court justice seat. President Trump has said that this coming Saturday, he will announce uh, his candidates that he has chosen. Uh, there could be a congressional hearing to vet the new judge as soon as October 12th, and a new judge could be seated as quickly as October 29th. Now, tomorrow, Steve Mnuchin of the Treasury will be testifying before a second congressional committee on the need for more stimulus. Jerome Powell of the Federal Reserve will also be questioned as the leader of the Federal Reserve. Now, I mentioned this a couple videos ago, uh, but Republican lawmakers are specifically interested in questioning Jerome Powell about the $300 billion from the original CARES Act back in March that has not been tapped into and really doesn't have a purpose right now. Uh, they are hoping that this could potentially be used as stimulus checks directly to the American people or that it could help contribute towards making sure that unemployment is fully funded uh, for the next several months. Uh, so anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. Now, lastly, I did want to point out that Louis Vuitton has a new face mask that you can buy online for $960. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You know what? I guess I just don't live in the upper echelon. Um, so feel free to roll your eyes right now like I just did. Come on, man. $961 for a face mask. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is what I have to report today. As I know more, I will share more. Thanks for being in my community. You are amazing. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next video.